The Surgical Pathology Laboratory provides accessioning, description, dissection that is grossing, and submission of fresh and fixed tissue material from biopsies and partial or total organ resections to histopathology lab for routine processing as well as for specialized procedures such as special stains, immunohistochemistry and immunofluorescence. Rapid tissue processors, automated paraffin embedding stations, automated microtomes for tissue sectioning, cryostat rapid tissue sections, and fluorescence or polarizing or phase contrast microscope. The field of surgical pathology evaluates tissues removed from living patients during surgery or other types of invasive procedures in order to diagnose a disease and aid in the development of a treatment plan. Also to provide information regarding prognosis such as status of surgical margins, complete or incomplete removal of disease, size and extent of disease, including tumor invasion into adjacent structures, tumor grade, well, moderately or poorly differentiated, and presence of metastasis to regional lymph nodes or distant organs. Reporting of malignancies of solid organs in synoptic reporting system, CAP accredited format, inclusive of ancillary molecular findings, is being followed for colon, stomach, breast, ovary, lung, endometrial, renal, soft tissue and CNS malignancies. Apart from oncopathology, specialized neuropathology, squash cytology, nephropathology and dermatopathology with immunofluorescence, endoscopic tissue diagnosis are part of surgical pathology. Additional special procedures include frozen section, that is rapid tissue diagnosis, intraoperative diagnostic services, processing for immediate evaluation of presence of tumor or margins. Autopsy pathology accounts for less than 10% of the work of pathologists. It is the most understood function of the pathologist. Clinical fetal autopsy services. Autopsies remain an important area of the modern practice of pathology and they are often equated in the popular imagination with it.